let's go back to the statement that your spirit is made up of different faculties. Okay? They're like organs, you know, in your body. Yes, sir? And at the same way that your body has a master, you know, energy controller regulator, your spirit has such a faculty, okay? And that faculty in the comedic tradition is called Amen. In the Hebrew Kabbalistical tradition, it is called the En Sof or A I N S O P H A U R N A U R. En Sof or, you know, which is like the so called negative existence or that which exists, you know, but not yet in the world. We call it the faculty of a man. Okay? In the Yoruba tradition, it's Olod Mare. You see that? It is, this, it is the part of you that communicates with the eternal, infinite nature, you see, of the primordial energy and matter within you. If we break energy and matter down to its, its finest level, its base level, you know, that's what scientists have been trying to do, Okay, they came up, the thing they call it quantum, the thing that, what they call quantum is it. And let's for a second, let's say, at, you know, give them that part and say, well, yeah, the, you know, there's the quantum particles or whatever. What you have to understand is that your body is made up of all of all the energies and mat material components of the universe makes up your body, your physical body, mental, psychical, and spiritual. Meaning that there's a part of you that is in communication and interaction with what you call quantum energy or primordial energy. And that part of your spirit is called Amen, okay, in the comedic tradition. Okay, you made up, you've, you've heard of Amen, Ra, and Amun, Ra, Tut, Amun, these are all mispronunciation of amen to keep you from understanding that when the Christians say amen at the end of the prayers, they're speaking of the same amen in amen ra. <laughs> you see that? Okay, which is the master energy, you know, uh, regulator in your life, meaning that it's a faculty. Okay? It's a faculty that when it is fully developed and activated within you, you're able to experience peace. And once you experience peace, no matter what challenges you're going through, you will be able to regulate all the other modalities of energy within you. You see that? Once this faculty, amen, okay, or the ends of order, or the mare is, you know, or the wuji of Taoist, you know, Qigong, you know, practice, when this faculty is fully awakened within you, you will remain at peace, no matter what is going on in your life, no matter what losses you have experienced, no matter what impediments you have experienced, no matter what hell is in the world, you will be in the midst of it, but at peace. Because if you're not at peace, you will succumb to the anger, the fear, the worry, the grief, you know, all those, you know, negative upsetting or upsets, as we would call them otherwise, and so on. So I want to start off by you understanding that if somebody teaches you what I'm teaching you right now, it's helpful in a sense that now you know that uh, there's a part of you that governs your ability to be at peace. Just not simply knowing the truth of about peace and that it is dependent on your awakening of faculty. It's not enough for you to, to understand the information, to, to know that there's such a thing. You see that? That's like, you know I me. Mean? Let, let's say that you couldn't walk. Let's say that you were born and you never walked and you never saw people walk. And somebody came to you and said, you know those things, those things at the bottom of your body, you know, 
uh, it can take you places. You see that? Now you know that. But you will have to then do exercises to strengthen it, develop it so that you could walk. The same thing you've heard of, about peace. You know what the world needs now is more peace, true peace. But how do you awaken the faculty that enables you to feel peaceful? You see that you cannot get it by taking St. John Worth herb or drinking alcohol or taking you know, uh, mushrooms, you know, and things of that nature. You have to arouse and awaken that faculty within you. And, you know, and since just knowing the truth is not enough for you to be able to generate the peace in your spirit, in your psyche, in your mind, you have to be trained. You have, you have to go through a training process. That training process includes, you know, uh, knowing the science that will help you to be convinced, that will give you veracity that your true response to challenge is peace, not anger, not fear, because there's a part of you, the psych, the soul, the lower part of you, you know, you know, it's programmed with 500 million years of animal program, okay, that uh, automatically generates anger and fear and worry and grief when you are challenged, when you lose things, when you're obstructed. So you have to go through a training process, a study process, a practice process to awaken the amen faculty or the ends of all faculty. You see that the Yoruba says, the Yoruba corpus of Ifa says that Olodumare, which is the Amen, doesn't sit on your head, meaning because it is infinite and eternal. Yes, you cannot contain in infinity or eternity, but you can, if trained, you can learn how to live mm -hmm. in the infinite eternal moment and stay there so that you can therefore erase all your past negative karma. You see that people who do not learn to live in the eternal, infinite, eternal of the moment, don't learn how to stay there, then they are caught up living the past and worrying about the future. They're trying to undo what has already been done and they're trying to manipulate and fix what has not yet come. You see that? That is the argument for why you have to learn what is the eternal and the infinite. If these are not, you know, abstract philosophical or, or scientific concepts. There are actual realities that you have to learn to put, to live. You see that? And the Amen faculty has to be awakened. You see that? Okay? So in this course that I put together, you will learn, you know, what mantras. You find that the Amen faculty, you see, is activated through what in the yogic tradition is called the Ashnya chakra, okay, which, you know, is a chakra that's, you know, correspondent to, you know, the prefrontal lobe, you know, right lobe right here on your forehead, a set, you know, very thin, you know, brain tissue that once it is fully awakened, it, count, it, it communicates with the deepest spiritual faculty within you, just not simply to make you moral, and give you, you know, superior, superior brain activities, but to help you now get into the quantum reality. What's quantum reality? Quantum reality is living, learn to live in the ever present. Once more again, if you're not living in the ever present, you're living in the past where a lot of negative, ugly things happen because the past corresponds to our infancy, our ignorance, our not knowing. You know, many of you are constantly reliving in all of these mistakes and what and wrongs done to you instead of living in the eternal infinite peace, which is not which is not no thingness. It is the unshakable, unmovable foundation, you see, to generate, you know, incalculable powers to manifest your goals in life. So the course. Mount 11 Laws of 
help, wealth, and success, which follows my book, My Delivering Laws of God, okay, um, trains you to awaken the 11 faculties of your spirit. Next in line is the faculty of unity. When we look out into nature, we find that all things in this world are in unity with each other and the world as a whole. You see, nature is a stupendous unity. You see that? Okay, the only disunity in the world is the behavior of man. You see that? Man is totally out of sync with, you know, with nature, with his nature and with nature itself. That's why everything in the history of man is settled through force and violence and all kinds of immoral and in, you know, and idiotic and crazy stuff. You see that? Okay. But this behavior, we can chalk it off as well because people are evil and they're ignorant. Those are easy answers that do not teach you anything. You see, people do wrong because they have not been taught how to be at peace. When they are challenged, so they default to anger, fear, and these emotions make you act, you know, antisocially, criminally, and things of that nature. 